Hey everyone, Akash here and in this video we will see how to implement infinite scrolling in react. Okay, so let's see it in action first. Okay, so initially we have this list, okay, which is rendering some data. Okay, and what will happen when we will reach to the bottom of the page that is when we will scroll till here an API call will be made as we can see and more data will be received from our end. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so as you can see. Uh, we are able to see the infinite scroll in action okay as we are uh, scrolling to the bottom more api call has been made and we are receiving more amount of data okay so what is actually happening is as we are scrolling to the bottom uh, we are simply uh, increasing the page size i mean to say page number and uh, we are each time we are getting the same amount of data okay but that is different so this is how we can implement infinite scrolling. Now let's see it in action. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to create React app. Okay, so document I'm going to see documents. Okay, let's make a folder infinite scroll. And over here, you just need to run this command npx create react app, and you can give any name to your app. Okay. Okay, so guys, when this is created successfully, just open your app in your ID. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so friends, as we can see, uh, we have installed uh, the React app successfully. Okay, now let's run it. And the command is npm start. Okay. So as we can see our react app is ready okay basically this is the boilerplate that we get and this is the entry point okay so we have to code uh, over here okay so i will be removing all this uh, data uh, that they have written for us okay and uh, okay i don't need this but we will be needing this okay cool let's also remove this till here okay cool okay so now what we'll be doing is uh, let's create the state for our application uh, cons state okay so guys we will be using hooks okay set state use state from react and let's give it initially empty array okay and let's also take the page into consideration okay set page and use state okay and uh, let's declare a constant over here uh, const page number and let's declare it initially one and let's give it over here page number okay so as we can see it is giving error because yeah okay so now we have imported it successfully okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to make an api call in use effect okay so to initially render the data okay so okay so what we have to do over here is uh, Okay, here we add the dependency. Okay, let's add it. Yeah. Okay, so to make an API call, I will be using fetch. Okay, and this is the URL. You can also copy it down if you want to use the same. And using then, we will get the data. Spawns.json. And once we get this JSON data, we can simply set state it okay um, initial state and uh, guys we are getting the um, data in the data field okay so okay cool now what we are going to do is we are going to call use effect again only if this page dependency changes okay and the sim the logic is quite simple what we are going to do we are going to attach this on scroll listener okay on scroll listener and uh, basically we are going to call the function 
okay like this and okay so guys this function will check uh, if the page has scrolled to the bottom okay so we, what we have over here is if window dot inner height that means the overall height of the window plus document dot document element dot scroll top okay and their sum is equal to the document element dot offset height okay it means that the height of the window and the height of the scroll bar if it is equal to the height this offset height it means that we have reached to the bottom of the page okay now what will i will what i will do is i will call this function scroll to end okay but we need to make this function const okay uh, scroll uh, let's copy it scroll to end okay let's make this arrow function and what it will do is um, um, it will simply increment the page by one every time okay cool uh, now simple simply let's uh, map our state okay only if its length is greater than zero and uh, state dot map okay so we are going to get the element and index okay cool okay let's have the div over here I think I've done something wrong. Something wrong. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There's something is wrong. Element, comma, index. Yeah, cool. Okay, div. Okay. And I will give it a class name of container container okay and you can just copy down the css okay so over here container uh, we have simply given it with auto background color border radius margin and padding okay so over here uh, what we are gonna do is um, we are simply gonna render the data okay let's give it the key or else it will cry that give me the key okay h4 and we are gonna render let's see what we have okay so in our json data we have actually id okay so that we will get from element dot underscore id and we have name also element dot name and we have and this just basically just uh, this da json data has a lot of uh, data but i'm also i'm only getting few i'm al only rendering few um to just show you the example okay uh it's not a function or call Okay, now let's see this in action. Okay, it's saying JSON data is not iterable. Why? Okay, cool. Over here, it's like this. Okay. Yeah. So guys, as we can see, we have got uh, the data from first API call that has been made and over here we have page equals one and size five okay and we have got the data as we can see okay same a uh, name trip and underscore id uh, you can also display other details but for the sake of the uh, this video i'm only selecting few okay now let's try scrolling to the bottom okay cool as we can see more and more apis uh, call are being made over here and we are getting more and more data okay cool uh, let's play with this yeah okay so guys i hope uh, 
you got an idea how you can implement infinite scroll uh, in react okay let's go to the code once more uh, we have simply rendered a small jsx over here okay we have attached this listener basically uh, listening to this event on scroll and this is the code for uh, to check if the if we have reached to the bottom or not okay and when that happens we are just going to scroll to end and we are going to set the page to uh, we are just going to increment the page number and uh, we are going to fetch the data okay cool i hope the concept is clear what you can do guys you can use debouncing also okay uh, because uh, the sc scroll event is quite expensive okay so uh, you can just uh, limit that rate of execution by using debounce function okay so that's it for this video and guys if you have liked the content then do hit that like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching